All right, so just performed my uh, our sensitivity analysis on our absorption column, and now we want to look at adding in a controller. And so the idea behind my sensitivity study was we had some inlet solvent flow rate or water flow rate of 200 kilomoles per hour. Um, our exit uh, treated gas stream still had a mole a frac or mole percent of acetone of 1.425 mole percent. And we're given a specification that we need the acetone concentration to be less than 0.3 mole percent or 0 0.003 mole frac. Okay. And the only variable that we're going to look at changing at this point is changing the inlet solvent flow rate. So we want to know what does that flow rate need to be for my water, my solvent in, in order to get a treated gas with an acetone concentration less than 0 0.03 mole frac. And so for my sensitivity study, it'll perform a series of simulations varying the uh, molar flow rate. It'll measure the um, exit concentration of acetone, right? And what I'm looking for is what's the flow rate so that my mole frac of acetone is 0 0.03 mole frac, which is somewhere around here. Okay. And the sensitivity study is great in that I can use it to get an idea of what that required flow rate is, but it doesn't give me an exact value. Right? And so I could set it to value around here, around 455, and iterate and change, but it's still not an exact value. So what we're going to perform next is we're going to use a controller, and a controller is going to perform a numerical search. Right? So I could imagine you know, I first evaluate um, my concentration at uh, 200, uh, then calculate at 500. Okay, my solution somewhere in between, so I can do a bounded search, try and solve for right, that exact mole frac to give me uh, 0.03 mole fracs of acetone. Okay, so let's let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I'm back on my home screen, not my sensitivity study. And so to get my controller, I'm going to delete that product stream. I'm going to drag in a controller, which is this one. So I'll connect to my controller, and I'm going to drag in a new product stream. Drag in a new product stream. Okay. All right. So now when it comes to my controller, by default, the operation is controller turned off. Okay. And so with the controller turned off, I'm going to get warnings that's saying, hey, you put in a controller, but it's off. Are you sure? Okay. I'm going to keep the controller off, and I'm going to run. And so the ability to turn the controller off is nice because once I use the controller to solve for uh, that necessary flow rate of water, right, I can then turn it back off and keep my simulation fixed. Okay. Um, all right. So how I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the controller. Again, by default, the operation was controller turned off. And I want to turn this into a feedback controller. Okay. So it's going to be feedback in that I'm going to monitor the mole frac of acetone in stream three. Okay, and based on the mole frac of acetone in stream three, I'm going to adjust the flow rate of water, right, until right, I get a target concentration of acetone in stream three. Okay. So it's gonna be a feedback controller. Okay. What am I going to adjust? So I'm gonna adjust in stream one. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the flow rate of water. So it's going to be the total, uh, where are you, the total mole rate, total mole rate, okay. So you could do a component mole rate, but I'm just going to keep it a total mole rate since I specified a mole frac of, um, mole frac of one and then, then specify the total uh, flow rate. Okay, in terms of units, okay, the unit is going to be mole slash mass here for my mole rate. And then I'm going to give it a range of values from 200 to 500. I know it's somewhere between there, and that's what I just performed my sensitivity study for. Okay. So I'm going to change the total mole flow rate of stream uh, 1 until I'm looking at stream 3. So stream 3. And I'm going to track the component mole fraction. Component mole fraction of acetone. I'm not going to scale the mole frac by anything. I'm not going to perform any sort of arithmetic operation in this case, but I'm going to change the um, or I'm going to change that flow rate to the mole frac of acetone is equal to 0 0.003. Right, mole frac of 0 0.003 should be 0.3 mole percent. Okay. In terms of units, right, I'll just keep that as internal units, right, since it's a dimensionless quantity. I'm going to 
click OK. And I'm going to give it a try. So now I'm going to run all. I've got my two unit ops, right? And I could right, highlight both of them, okay, and do a run selected. But I'll just do a run all, okay, converged, okay, great, no errors. So when I look at my exit stream, do do do, that's in kilomoles per hour. Let me make you a mole percent, right? Mole percent, I've got 0 0.29999, right? So it's less than 0 0.3 mole fracs. And they get that required composition of acetone. I need a water fluoride of 458.4887. Okay, cool. So there's my necessary fluoride of water to achieve that target concentration of, of acetone. Okay, now this thing is easy to break. So let's see if I were to click on this instead of moles per mass, if I just selected zero internal unit. Okay, let's see what happens. So now I do a run all. Okay. Actually, it still works, okay, so that's good. So I can make that internal unit. I didn't need to make it mole per mass. Okay. Um, if I make a delta pressure, okay, I do run all, right? Hey, it still actually works, right? So, so it looks like this, okay, doesn't have all that big of an effect. Right, so internal unit mole slash mass, but I'm gonna stick with what makes sense here to me. Okay, and then mole fraction of acetone, right? That's an internal units. But let's see if I were to change that to um, let's see mole per mass, what happens? Still, well, mole percent is actually it's actually higher, right? So. It looks like you know changing this right does have an effect as compared to internal unit. Internal unit I'm back to my 0.3 mole percent. Okay, so it looks like it it did affect that. Um, and if I were to choose component acetone, run all, you know, works just the same. Okay, but. When I did change the the unit of stream three, you know the one, it, it did change. So it, it, you need to be careful, right, as you're setting these calculations up, uh, to make sure you're doing it all uh, correctly. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's the the basic idea behind a controller. Um, you could use it to to turn anything, uh, but remember, it is numerically solving, so it is good to give it uh, ChemCAD a good initial guess to get it started, um, so that it's not too far off since it's numerically solving. Um, and you know if it if it breaks right, then you might need to think about giving it a better initial guess and, and moving from there. Okay. But, all right, uh, hope that helps. Um, we'll move on to the next question.